Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is a tremendously exciting release because Soloist Union is back for yet another release titled Love You Twice. Now, if you've never heard Yunjin's solo stuff, they are extremely powerful pieces of music, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between. She has this ability to push really sensitive, almost like taboo, like subjects within at least the K industry in a way, and just spin them into these ab these absolutely gorgeous works of music with the most powerful of messages. And we have another one, and I'm so tremendously excited because her vocals are extremely lovely, her music is absolutely gorgeous, but the message, more than anything, is absolutely spectacular. And she's not afraid to, like, speak her mind when it comes to sensitive subjects like this. So I'm tremendously excited. Here we go. Two things before we start. Um, one, I'm on a new audio codec. Uh, and so audio balancing throughout the reaction may be a little bit skewed over the next couple days until I figure out what, like, the perfect balance is. So bear with me. Two... I've got uh, reaction requests open over on the community tab. If you have a suggestion uh, that you want to leave for me, so that I can watch some, uh, I can watch them throughout the next couple weeks or so. Uh, go over to the community page on my channel. Uh, there'll be a post on there. It'll have the rules laid out on like what I'm looking for, things like that. So if you're interested, pop on over, and I look forward to uh, seeing your suggestions. But Miss Yunjin, here we go. What do you got for me? Isolated acoustic guitar. You know how I feel about isolated acoustic guitar. Starting with the low vocals. I love the little illustrations she does too. Oh, and flip it with the high vocals. Right, I need to start piecing together what this MV is about. Oh, nice chorus flourish. I will say this about the song, it might, I think it's the most palatable song she's done so far. Like this is probably the most mainstream, just like general pop song we've gotten. That chorus is so pretty though. It's also the face I make when I break a guitar string. Also me when I drink. I don't like drinking. Right, so I wonder if this is more of like a commentary piece on social media perceptions of idols and things like that? That's a different line, I think. If I remember correctly, that second chorus had a different line. Ooh, the little vocal runs. Oh, 
Yin Jin. Oh, you spectacular human being. Oh, okay. Let's talk. This song, I think, off the rip, is probably her most palatable song yet. In that, like, it's probably the most mainstream pop sounding song that we've gotten from her. It was like, raise your glass and I doesn't equal doll were. In terms of like the Korean pop music scene, very out there in terms of the sound. This is a little bit more mainstream. And it's also, I feel like, approaching a little bit more of a gentler subject. And it's not like kind of like a target piece in a way. Kind of like I'm referencing and comparing it to I Doesn't Equal Doll because that was her last like solo release. But I Doesn't Equal Doll, if you've never heard of it or just need like a refresher for it essentially was like a piece calling out people in the industry and like people in the fandom about how all people care about when it comes to like idols is that oh they're so pretty but as soon as something changes it's like sns stan twitter or in general just social media culture and like idol culture and how just people's opinions switch just like that on the smallest of things and all they really care about is like the superficial looks and don't really care about the person themselves in a way and like you could immediately feel that like almost hostility and that anger and that frustration from the idol side through the song this one is a lot more tame and I really like that because she's covering like all the bases with all the different tones. Because, well, for me, this song is giving off more of like um, one of two theories for me right now. Maybe like a commentary piece on how people kind of glorify idols through social media at the expense of their own lives. Or that this is like a piece on idle social media life and how everything looks like it's sunshine and rainbows on the pictures on your phone or on your computer and whatnot. But behind the scenes, it's the polar opposite where it's there's a lot of stuff that doesn't reach the public eye that idols have to deal with. Either way, they're not the most aggressive of topics. And Yunjin's portrayed it in a way where it's kind of gentle and it's like, regardless of what the message is, like the ultimate message is, and well, the fact that it can be interpreted multiple ways I think is also very cool, but the song is just really tame and chill and it's really just a good groove, just a nice chill song to listen to. Ooh. And she was showing off some range in this song, let me tell you. The low tones, like in uh, the start of the song. Spends quiet nights, Pilates mornings. And she's good with wine. She wakes at the right time. That's the right vibe. She's funny, but never too much. But then you get into the chorus. I, I love the little vocal ad lib she does here. Oh yeah, that's the lyric. She takes the hit but never shows you where it hurts. And then second chorus. She takes the hit but swings back stronger than before. Okay, so they are different. We love progression within a song. Especially when it comes up in the lyrics. That's super cool. Very self-aware songwriting. Very cool. Okay. And then this final chorus section here. I love this airy high tone she has. I'll say I love you twice. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's something special. She's something special. Oh. I still remember her member reveal trailer way back in the day. I want to change the idol industry. 
Oh my goodness, is she doing that? Honestly, props to her for having the courage, but also just the compositional and musical talent to come up with stuff like this time after time after time. Like, this is three consecutive releases that she's done solo where it has just been a work of art. But also, shout out to Hybe and Sobo for letting her do this. Because she's singing about, like, industry taboo that no one would dare touch. But Hybe are letting her do it. So thank you, Hybe. Because I guarantee you, if she were in any different company, they wouldn't let her do this. Because it, it's taboo and it looks bad on the industry. Because it's calling out certain parts of the industry that idols, most likely all idols will experience, but can't speak up about. Yunjin don't care. Yunjin don't give a She's just kind of giving the big old middle finger to like conve standard K-pop conventions when it comes to like K-pop, like idol culture. And just like, Nah, I'll say it how I see it, and I love that for her. Bad bitch energy. We love to see it. But anyways, that's it for me today. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy and want to see more channel icon it is up there. You can find the back catalog of stuff I watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.